What's going on everybody, Brian here, and today I'll be bringing you my full review of the Slingbox Pro HD. This retails for $2.99 from various online retailers, and if you're unfamiliar with Slingbox, it'll let you pull in everything that you see from your cable box or satellite box into the Slingbox, and then you could actually use this to stream your video to your computer, to your Android device, to your uh, iOS device to your Nokia device. It, it, they have applications for a number of different smartphone platforms and they also have desktop and web clients for Windows and Mac OS 10. So you can pretty much watch your content anywhere. Now earlier this week I did a video showing you the iOS applications that Slingbox has created for both the iPad and the iPhone. Both applications retail for $30 each from the iTunes App Store. They are not universal applications. Then I also had a video showing you the web interface for Slingbox, so you could watch the you could watch your content from your Slingbox from within your web browser for either Windows or Mac OS X. And then I showed you Slingbox's desktop client for for Windows and Mac OS X as well. I'll put links to those videos in the description. So if you're interested in checking out how this actually works and looks on your computer or your mobile device, go ahead and check those out. So here is the sling box itself. It's a rather big box, but on the back, you'll see why. On the back of the sling box, you can see that there are a number of different video inputs and outputs. Starting from the left side, let me just zoom in a little bit. On the left side, we have a reset switch. There's a power plug. Over here, we have a gigabit ethernet port, and there's also a USB port next to that. So. I believe that Slingbox has a USB Wi-Fi adapter that you could plug into here, so if you don't want to use Ethernet or if you just aren't close to your router, then you could just use a USB Wi-Fi stick. Here we have composite video inputs and outputs. There's also a S-video input and a S-video output. Moving to the right, we have component video in and out, as well as component audio in and out. There is coaxial audio, and here is the IR uh, port. So the Slingbox does come with a number of IR blasters and what those basically do is they sit in front of your cable box. I'll show you what mine looks like in a minute. And they actually control your Slingbox just as though you were using an actual remote control. Then here we have coaxial input and outputs. And the reason there are inputs as well as outputs is that the input is used for whatever's coming from your cable box. And then the output is for whatever is going to your TV. So you could still use the Slingbox to control and stream your, your, your content, but you could also continue to watch your cable box on your TV like you usually would. There is nothing at the bottom of the Slingbox but some uh, serial number information and whatnot. And on the front of the Slingbox, there's a couple of lights. You can see that this it is made of material to where it will pick up your fingerprints. But you know you shouldn't be even top, or you shouldn't even be touching the top anyway. At the front of the sling box, we have a light for power, and then we also have a light that's saying you are connected to a network. And over here, if I was actually, if somebody was actually connected to your sling box watching your content, this would actually light up, and it would move around a little bit. And that was just a quick tour of the sling box itself. So what do I think of it? I absolutely love the Slingbox Pro HD. This is possibly the best product I was ever sent in for review. Um, I love it. I've easily put into, I've easily put in over a hundred hours of use with this, and I just absolutely love it. Uh, if you're at, at a doctor appointment and you're in the waiting room and you have nothing to do, you could just whip out your phone and watch some TV. You could watch news, sports, whatever you have, whatever you have from your home television. You could watch on your Slingbox because it just pulls in everything from your cable box and it can control your cable box and you know all those sorts of things. Um, if you're even on an airplane 5,000 miles away from your home, if you happen to have Wi-Fi on the plane, you could just pull out your laptop and start watching live TV content coming from your sling box and your cable box or satellite box, whatever you're using. So overall, it's a definitely a great purchase. If, if you like television, if you watch a lot of shows, if you like watching news, sports, live stuff wherever you are then this is the best way to go there are other tv tuners that you can get that are a little bit cheaper but there's just nothing as seamless and integrated as the whole sling box experience uh, i just i just really love it it's 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 a great little box and it 
you know. My only real issue with it is how hot it gets. Like right now, even though I'm not streaming anything, if I touch the bottom of the sling box, it's, it's actually very hot. You can't even put your hand on it for more than five seconds without it actually starting to get annoying. And because of this, I have this laptop cooler that I've had for a long time. It has two fans on it. And I've actually been using this to cool the sling box down. So I just put the sling box on top and usually right in the middle of the sling box on the bottom is where it gets more, gets the most heat. Uh, that's probably because that's where the processor is. Um, there's no fans on the sling box, which is very disappointing. You would think that they would put fans on a device like this, but they actually did not. So I actually just put the middle of the sling box on the right fan. And then the other fan over here is actually blowing more air to the rest of it. So that'll keep that area cool. And I just pretty much just leave the sling box on top of this fan the entire time. And it keeps it really cool. It definitely keeps the temperatures down, which makes me worry less. Um, I don't think it's a fire hazard. I don't think it gets hot to the point where it would actually cause a fire. But it is definitely a bit sort of worrying. And just you just need to be cautious. So... I don't know why they didn't put a fan in the bottom of the sling box. It would just make the most sense. And it the only real complaint that I have with the sling box Pro HD is with the heat. But this could easily be fixed by getting a laptop cooler and putting the sling box on top of it. And that will get rid of any heat issues that you may be experiencing with your sling box. I don't know if this happens with all the sling boxes, but for me, it will get really, really hot even when you're not streaming anything. And I don't think it should be doing that but it doesn't get hot to the point where you actually have to start worrying too much. Now I'm actually going to move my camera over to my sling box. Or not sling box, my cable box. Here it is right here. This is a Time Warner cable, cable box. And here's one of the IR blasters. There's a cable going all the way around the back of the TV into the sling box. And this is actually pointed right where the... IR receiver is on the cable box and this will actually let you control your cable box from your sling box as if you're actually using a physical remote control. So it's nice that they included everything that you need to get going. Now I've also been doing it I've also done a separate unboxing video so if you'd like to check out check that out I'll put a link to that down below in the description. And you can see that I have my sling box over near all of my other network stuff. Here is the cable modem and here is my wireless router. Overall, it's just a really great kit. You get everything you need to get started. You get all the cables, um, all the documentation, everything you need to get up and running within 10 minutes. Setup for the Slingbox Pro HD was also very simple. Everything is done within your browser. All the firmware updates are also done in your browser. So it's just a really great experience. If you like watching your, your live TV shows from your home anywhere you are, then this is the way to go. It's definitely worth the investment, and I really want to thank Slingbox for sending this out to me free for review. So that's it with all the Slingbox stuff. You know, it's just a really great, really great product. I've, I've easily put in over 100 hours of use into it, and it's, you know, really cool. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But that's about it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.